Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another very special, very special video for you guys right now. I'm in Bend, Oregon, uh, as we speak right now, doing something I never thought I was gonna do. Uh, it's something really kind of cool. The place I'm at today, the place I'm doing a video at today, you guys may uh, know this sign right here uh, next to me. I don't know, if, do you guys know that sign? Do you guys know this sign that's behind me? Uh, that's just say, me and my friends are over here at the very last blockbuster video on Earth. And we're about to head on in here to see what they have, anything cool, maybe collectible wise, because this is the very last one in the world and it's still open. Are you guys ready? I gotta put my mask on. Yeah, I'm here with my homeboy OGP. The Fluffy Gamer, we're in Oregon, doing it big. Crazy shit, man. Yeah, man. Crazy. Let's head on in to this blockbuster. But first, let me show you guys what kind of stuff they have in the windows. Well, obviously right now, during the pandemic and stuff, they do have curbside pickup for people that don't want to walk in the store, which is cool, but uh, people are allowed in the store, it looks like. But check out this right here. Uh, they have a, a hook poster uh, in the window here, bro. A hook theatrical poster. That's the new release, uh, one of the new release movies that's out this week that you can get to rent inside of Blockbuster. Be kind, please rewind, thank you. Oh, so movie rentals are uh, $3.99 per rental, okay. Oh, and you can't forget, if you want to return a movie, they got that Dropbox for you. And the other poster they have in the window is, Boys in the Hood. Oh shit, sneak peek, sneak peek, oh, oh. All right, bro. You ready to go in? I'm ready. You can't see what it... Yeah, let's go. There it is. There's a the smile. Yeah, let's we're walking it. into the very last blockbuster on earth, guys. We got the block. We got the carpet down there. Oh. 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 What? Okay. Okay. They got the old computer systems that I used to work on, you know, back in the day. Yeah, man. Um, I am not gonna lie kind of slightly freaking out right now because this is what I grew up with you know what I mean they have of course the new releases like Charlie's Angels cats you know uh, call of the wild and different things but I remember walking these aisles not exactly at this location but walking the aisles in my blockbuster putting movies back on the shelf you know what I mean like I would have like big stacks of, uh, of like DVDs blu-rays and different things and you know putting them back and everything and it was good old day the good old days this is kind of cool this is like a nerd's like a nerd's dream especially since i known for a while this is the last one uh you know in the world and it's privately owned i believe and they have like three or four employees that are working here here's just an overview of uh the blockbuster uh right over here and it's kind of popping there's a hand there's been a handful of people in here you know just shopping and stuff it's a lot bigger than you would think from the videos and stuff. Are you, oh, dude, are you signing the guest book? The last blockbuster on earth. Please share us where you're from. So we tell us where we're from and we sign the guest book. I think we'll, I think we'll sign the guest book. Yeah, let's, we'll sign, let's sign the guest book. Let's do it. Okay. Web Movie One, leaving his mark here. Signing the book. Well, I just signed the guest book and it says, Wet Movie, Wet Movie One was here. Oh, shit. They also have a good amount of stuff for sale, Blu-ray wise, for like $6.99 and stuff in here like Rambo and I still believe they have some copies of that in there Invisible Man but I think these like these are the ones like you see in rental stores that like, don't come with digital copies or DVDs or whatever but that, that's still fine that's still cool I'm sure I'll find something to get just to say I did you know what I mean while I'm in here but uh, you know like that 47 meters down and um, black and black and blue and another thing that they have here too uh, that my old store used to have are these little art prints uh, back when I used to work, they used to get like little, not not exactly these things. They used to have like little, like art pieces, but they do have like little mini posters in here. That is cool, man. Army of Darkness. I like that Sam Jackson one. I don't think I've seen that that uh, that art before. They still have the five for twenty uh, over here. They used to sometimes have four for twenty or five for twenty uh, back at uh, the store I used to be, uh, work at. So maybe I'll look through here. But these are DVDs. I would like to try to get some blues or something like that. But. Uh, if I, if I do get something, I'll definitely share it with you guys, you know, at the end of this video. Hmm. Well, never thought 
uh, since my blockbuster closed six years ago and all the other ones you know around my area uh, that I would ever come into another one and you guys know like I said I used to work for blockbuster uh, for over six years and everything like that had a lot of cool experiences uh, working for them like I got to meet so many different celebrities throughout the years working there the the guy that used the guy that used to be married to Britney Spears uh, he used to come to my store all the time and like have an iguana on his shoulder and things like that along with like you know Jeremy London and um, you know uh, Darius McCrary who played Eddie Winslow from a uh, you know uh, Family Matters and stuff used to come to my blockbuster all the time and rent movies and <laughs> I had a lot of good memories there. I had a lot of bad ones as well, you know, towards the end and everything, but to be walking through the aisles of a Blockbuster video, 2020, baby. And check this out. They have some VHS tapes over here for $2. Some old Disney clamshells. No, not all of them are Disney clamshells. And the, the ones that stood out to me right here, right off the bat, was a Dunstan checks in, but look at the look at the price of that, dude. Look at the price that that was. You know when when yeah, that's how much it was when it yeah when it, when it, when it first came out back in the day. But now it's only two bucks, dude. That's cool. Like remember, remember when um, uh, DVDs were like a hundred bucks too when they came out. DVDs were crazy back in like the late 80s, very early 90s. Yeah, it was the same. It was the same thing with VHS tapes back in the day too, but uh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of. I like. I like how they have the stickers on them still. There you go. Peter, what? Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee. Look at that. Ooh. Well, that case is in great shape. Yeah. You know what? Since it's a horror thing, I may just get that for a special somebody. Oh. A special oh, someone. Oh, he would like that. He would get yeah. like that. Yeah. He uh, would like that. Yeah, someone named Sinistalker. I may just like put that to the side. Just may put that to the side for the Sinistalker. But uh, let's see if they have any other thing in here. <laughs> oh. They have your favorite movie of all time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny guy. Funny guy. Yeah. You're a funny guy. Yeah. And of course, when you walk around the Blockbuster store, you can't forget the candy section. I used to remember selling candy bundles, you know, <laughs> all the time when I used to when I used to work here. But another cool thing is, you know, about this store is it's kind of like a little museum. They have like a little section over here of like different uh, wardrobe, uh, different people wore in certain movies, like you know Russell Crowe. You know, wore this in uh, Robin Hood in the two, two, early 2000s or late 2000s. Yeah, late 2010s. They even have American Gangster chairs uh, over here that were on set of the film. It looked like everything that was in here, like screen used stuff, was worn by Russell Crowe. So he must have like donated some of this stuff, uh, you know, to this Blockbuster store. That, that is pretty rad. Even that little, um, that little suit that he had in Les Miserables. But they also have like this little museum thing of uh, blockbuster stuff. Let's take a look. I have like different articles in here from different newspapers, uh, you know, that covered the store and different things like that. Different celebrities like the nun, uh, Bonnie uh, from the nun, uh, was, he came in the store, signed a couple of copies of things. Here's some of like the cast and crew of Ellen show that were here, you know, filming for Ellen and different things. It's kind of cool. There's even some nostalgic stuff down here. Uh, that they have like old school blockbuster keychains, you know, um, blockbuster cards. I still have my old blockbuster card, you know, from back in the day. They didn't make this today. It's my old one. This one actually, there, there was an older one I had that was like even thicker and harder and stuff. But this is the one, I, the only one I have left. Wandering through a blockbuster in 2020, kind of mind-blowing, kind of cool, because uh, walking into a video store these days and picking up a movie, like physical media-wise, doesn't happen that often. And when you do find a place, you gotta you gotta try to support it. You know, if you have like a family-run store in your area, you guys gotta definitely try to you know support it if you guys love um, physical media. 
And because uh, I grew up in the 80s, you know, I was born in 1982, so pretty much the 90s, okay? The early 90s was when I started going to video stores uh, for the first time. My dad used to take me there with my mom. And I, I, one of my memories I had coming to a Blockbuster was coming to the store, walking to the aisles, being, 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 being able to pick out two movies that I wanted or a game and take them home. And um, it, was, it was really cool because back then they used to rent DVD players or VCRs and they used to come in these little suitcases sometimes because my family at the, at the time, we didn't have enough money to afford a player. So we had to like rent a player for a weekend and different things like that. Does anybody remember that when it comes to uh, Blockbuster Video back in the day? Let me know in the comments down below. Well guys, I'm gonna be picking up a handful of things uh, from this Blockbuster right here. So let's head on out and uh, let me show you guys what I picked up. Man, this was so cool. All right guys, we're back right now from Blockbuster and we're about to show you guys the goods that we picked up. I got the uh, last Blockbuster in America sticker right there. Yeah. And people may say this is not the last Blockbuster somewhere in Alaska, there is not. It is. No, uh, the last one. Yeah, so there was two in Alaska that closed down in 2018. In round and two. there was one in uh, Australia that closed down last year. Yeah. So this is the this last one. Of all time. So of all time. I picked up three for 20. I picked up Nightmare Cinema. Mm -hmm. He was saying that I might already have this. I yeah. don't know. But um, I don't remember I'm if I do. Sure so I do. said, you know what? Yeah. So like Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I picked up VFW, which I know I don't have and I have not seen yet. Um, and then Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I got this whole bag full of shit, which I'm going to show you right now. I may most likely be doing a giveaway right now for uh, some blockbuster goodness. But uh, yeah, look, if you guys want to win an item that I purchased from the final blockbuster, I want you in the comments down below to, to say to say one of your favorite Blockbuster store video memories or just one of your favorite video store memories in general in the comments down below and I'll pick a lucky winner in an upcoming uh, you know what fuck it I'll pick you I'll pick a winner in the next uh, hoarding up video at the end or beginning you gotta have to watch and find out the next hoarding up video but some of the stuff that I picked up over there was uh, a couple of these uh, cups. Uh, that they have like this one right here says the last blockbuster on it's kind of like a squishy you know kind of cup right here i don't know if it, i don't know if the glow in the dark one says the last blockbuster bend oregon right here this is a black a black one and i got uh ugh, ah i got two blue ones that have the blockbuster logo on them two of these ones with the you know the blockbuster logo on them i got a whole bunch of different cups so this may be one of the one of the things i may ship out to somebody, I'm not sure what, who or what I'm shipping out yet, but I got a, a bunch of cups. And I also got these stickers that they had for sale there. You know, Black Blockbuster Bend, Oregon, I survived, along with the last Blockbuster sticker. Uh, last Blockbuster on the Planet sticker. You know, the same one, but in a different different form. I got pretty much one of each sticker that they had there uh, at that store, just for the hell of it. They were like two bucks each, just for the hell of it. Also got three of these little Blockbuster keychains. They're, like, they're not the most like high quality ones in the planet, but they're better than nothing. Uh, you know, this has the yellow on the back, and it's like a little Blockbuster card, you know, style right there. What the, what the hell? Uh, I got these little sunglasses uh, right here. I got two, two of these sunglasses that say Blockbuster on the side, and, you know, it says Bend Oregon on them. You know, got, you know, got two of those uh, right there, along with, like I said, the, the cups and different things. Just showing you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And I got some physical media uh, w when I was there. Uh, I bought three Blu-rays because there were three for 20. I'm like, fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll get the deal that they have there. Uh, they only have the Blu-rays in them. There's no DVDs and digital copy codes that usually come with the discs and stuff. Oh, because previously it was one yeah. that they rented out. Yeah, yeah, previously viewed. I got uh, nice. um, Black and Blue uh, here on Blu-ray. I also got Downhill, which I heard was kind of bad, but I haven't seen it yet, but I like Will Ferrell and, of course, uh, Julia Lewis dreyfus I believe, from oh, Seinfeld. Yeah. And I got The Hustle uh, here. I like Anne Hathaway. I don't, know what, I don't care what anyone oh, else yeah, says. Great, man. Anne Hathaway's cool. I got those three for 20 And I also got this VHS tape that was two bucks. It's a horror tape. I picked it up for my homeboy, Danny. I got this one for Danny, just for the fuck of it. This is the only horror VHS tape that they have here. And it's called The Horror Express. 
Well, guys, we really do appreciate you guys watching and subscribing to our channel. This would this video wouldn't happen. This wouldn't have happened right here if it wasn't for oh, Fluffy just dropped his gut on my shoulder. Uh, if this this video wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for these guys right here and coming out I don't know all about me. I'd say more this guy. That's what I said. You guys right here. Ah. Make sure you guys subscribe to their channels, ah. uh, the Goodwill Hunters on YouTube, and also the Fluffy Gamer. I have both their YouTube channels in the description box of this video. But like I said. Tell me your, your favorite video store memory in the comments down below. You must live in the United States, and I'll pick a lucky winner in my next Hoarding Up video. Oh, he's going to give me the corona. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this blockbuster video, because <laughs> there ain't going to be another one. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Toot-toot. <laughs> Bye-bye.